Okay, today we are doing lesson 43 for Arkansas. So in your binder, turn to page 11 for our questions. Let's pause the video and turn to page 11 in your binder. Okay, so here we have the state of Arkansas. It's not a very big state, okay? This one is actually really close to me. This is the state that I have to drive through to get to you in Texas. And I like go up kind of like right here, like this. Or actually, no, go like this, I think. And then go down this way and out that way to Texas. All right, so here we go. The Quapaw people once lived in the area that became the state of Arkansas. French explorers who came through the area called them Ukanasa, the name that a nearby tribe used for them. The explorers wrote down the names of various native nations as they sounded to their French ears. Ukanasa became Arkansas. In French, the S on the end of the word, Arkansas, was silent. So European people spelled the word, word many different ways through the years, including all of these different ways that you see down here. Soon after Arkansas became a state, there are two U.S. senators disagreed on how to pronounce the state's name. One said Arkansas, while the other said Arkansas. In 1881, the state government passed a law declaring that the correct pronunciation is Arkansas. They felt this was the best historic pronunciation and better honored the original inhabitants for whom the state is named. Okay, next we have Bentonville, which is a town in Arkansas. In 1950, Sam Walton opened Walton's 5 and 10 in Bentonville, Arkansas. Customers could find a wide variety of items in the store that cost 5 or 10 cents. Sam Walton's store was a success. He and his brother Bud soon opened more locations in Arkansas and Missouri. In 1962, Sam Walton opened a new store in Rogers, Arkansas. Using the first three letters of his last name, he called it Walmart. He continued to open more Walmart stores in more states. Today, his company operates stores, now called Walmart, in all 50 states and in 26 other countries. The company's headquarters are in Bentonville, and the original Walton's 5 and 10 building houses the Walmart Museum. Okay, so look at your, in your binder, at your paper. Question number one says, what store did Sam Walton open in Rogers, Arkansas in 1962? What store did he open? Walmart. So pause and write Walmart on number one, Walmart. Okay, next we have Stuttgart, which is a town in Arkansas. Arkansas grows more rice than any other state. The world's largest rice milling company is Riceland in Stuttgart. The company packages their rice in one pound bags, one ton bags, and many sizes in between. Riceland rice travels in trucks across the country and in container ships all around the world. Every year, Stuttgart hosts the world's champion duck calling contest. Usually, the participants in the contest use duck call instruments to make their duck sounds. In 1936 and 1942, however, the winners used only their mouths. All over the world, People win prize money in many different types of contests. In Stuttgart, Arkansas, people win money if they can sound like a duck. All right, so number two on your paper says, Arkansas grows more blank than any other state. Arkansas grows more rice, R-I-C-E, rice. So pause and write rice on number two. Okay, number three, Stuttgart, Arkansas hosts the world's champion blank calling contest. Duck 
calling contest. D-U-C-K. So pause and write duck on number three. Okay, next we have the Razorbacks. Arkansas farmers have to deal with a big pest that loves to uproot what they have planted. Arkansas is full of wild hogs that destroy yards and fields. Farmers sometimes install huge traps which can catch 30 or 40 of these pesky animals at a time. Another name for a wild hog is a razorback. The name refers to the tall hair that runs down the animal's backbone. In the early 1900s, students at the University of Arkansas in Fayetteville began calling their football team the Razorbacks. In 1909, the school's football coach made the nickname more popular. He said that his team played like a wild band of Razorbacks. The following year, students at the school changed their school mascot from the Cardinals to the Razorbacks. The new mascot must have certainly sounded more intimidating to their opposing team. Okay, if you look at number four, number four says, what animal is a pest for farmers and also the mascot for the University of Arkansas? So for number four, we have razorback or wild hog. Razorback or wild hog. So here we have the word razorback. So you can pause and write what? Razorback, and you can also write wild hog. Okay, next we have the capital of Little Rock. When a French explorer sailed up the Arkansas River in 1722, he saw a rocky outcropping on the riverbank. He called it La Petite Roche, which means the Little Rock in French. The settlement of Little Rock began in 1822. 1820, with a small cabin beside the Arkansas River. The population of the community grew to be around 30 people that year. Today, the city is home to around 200,000. The state capitol building in Little Rock is built to look like the U.S. Capitol building in Washington, D.C. The buildings look so similar that some movies have been filmed in Little Rock to look like they take place in Washington, D.C. Next, we have Hot Springs. And here's a picture of hot springs. For hundreds of years, people have come to bathe in the waters of central Arkansas. Springs here run deep in the heart of the earth where the rocks are hot. The hot rocks heat the water. For centuries, people have believed that bathing in the water from the hot springs would improve their health. In the 1800s, people set up canvas tents as bathhouses. People later built simple wooden structures but these often collapsed, rotted, or burned down. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, businessmen built the grand and elegant bathhouses that now stand along Bathhouse Row in Hot Springs. One of the bathhouses offered guests five different sizes of tubs so that guests of all heights could be comfortable. So here's a picture of the bathhouses that you can go to in Hot Springs. Okay, then we have Crater of Diamonds State Park. Usually state parks don't want anyone to take flowers or rocks or anything from the park home with them. They want everyone to leave everything for others to enjoy. Crater of Diamonds State Park in Murfreesboro, Arkansas is different. The park encourages visitors to hunt through a plowed field and take home whatever diamonds they might find. Over the years, people have found over 30,000 diamonds in this park including the largest diamond ever found in the United States. So here are some examples of different diamonds that have been found at the Crater of Diamonds State Park. Okay, and then number five on your paper. People have found over 30,000 what in the ground at a state park in Arkansas? They have found over 30,000 Diamonds. So on number five, pause and write diamonds. Diamonds. Okay, next you need your workbook that we color in. Okay, 
and you first need to go to the front on your map and you're going to pause and color the state of Arkansas red. Pause and color Arkansas red. Okay, then turn to page 46 and 47. 46 and 47. You're going to write the word hot spring on the line. So pause and write hot spring on the line. Later, you can color and decorate this, or you can pause and do it right now. Okay, then we have the state of Arkansas. Okay, here's their state flower, the apple blossom. Then we have their state flag, their state bird, the mockingbird, and their state tree, the pine tree. Okay, now up here, you are going to get a yellow and color the star next to the capital, Little Rock Yellow. So pause and color the star yellow. Then you're going to color the wild hog, the razorback, brown. Okay, so pause and color the wild hog brown, like a dark brown. Okay, here next to Stuttgart, we have a rice plant. So you, with a pencil or color, you could, you're going to draw some more rice plants, kind of like around this area. Then you're going to trace along the Arkansas River all the way down here in blue. So trace along the river in blue. Okay, then right here next to Crater of Diamond State Park, you're going to draw more diamonds and you can color them if you want to, like pink and purple and stuff. And then you are going to color these music notes right here, color them black to represent the Hartford Music Company, which we didn't read about, but it's a famous um, company in Hartford, Arkansas. Then you are all done.